Friday yeah, Night you, News. We, we didn't even talk about this yet. I'm actually pretty excited for The Hero because I was watching Zero's video. Uh, he made one for Banjo and The Hero. And uh, it was basically, are they good? And he showed up all their moves. And I was like, dang, this guy is actually really cool. I haven't had time to actually sit down and be like, so what does he actually do? Because I was too busy being like, are you serious? <laughs> he does like too much things. Apparently, everyone in Japan was super ecstatic for him because they actually yeah, play the game. That's what I heard. So I'm, I'm happy for them. I don't really care because we got Banjo Kazooie, so like. <laughs> but I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't know about the rumors or anything. I knew people thought Banjo Kazooie was coming. So when the. When E3 started and the first trailer was Smash and it looked really cool and I was like, oh my gosh, who's it going to be? And then it was literally the most, to me, someone <laughs> who is uncultured, like the most generic looking anime person. I was like... It was literally was just, Goku. Literally the name was like The Hero. <laughs> he doesn't even have a name. It was so painfully generic to someone who didn't know who he was. So I was just like, this is such a joke. but. It's not all about me, so it's not that big of a deal, and I have so many people that I want, so I don't really care. And it's cool because he's somebody new anyway, so yeah. whatevs. I think the, uh, the Breath of the Wild trailer for me made E3. I was so excited. <laughs> it's so funny because the ban <clears throat> the banjo uh, was my the banjo. Definite, <laughs> definite highlight. I uh, think... Oh yeah, what did I'm... you think when you saw... What were your thoughts when you were seeing the... the um, Huh. The trailer. You saw it after the announcement, right? Or did you see the trailer first? Wait, the trailer for what? Banjo, Banjo were you watching it live? It's just so hard for me to be excited about any Smash characters anymore because it's like for the past two months, we've been hearing they're going to be added. So the idea isn't new for me anymore. Even though it's really cool and it's fun and I'm going to enjoy Banjo Kazooie, it's just not as shocking or like, oh my gosh! Yeah. Unless it's like a piranha plan. Piranha plan was the last. <laughs> Smash character in a long time for me that was like, holy moly, what is this and where did it come from? <laughs> which was which was amazing. Well, that. I didn't expect to see Banjo Kazooie because we saw the hero. I pretty I was certain oh. he would make it, but I didn't think that he was going to be in the E3 at all. I don't think. Well, I had suspicion, but because they already showed the yeah. hero up. I was like, oh no, they're saving Banjo for like some other Smash Direct in the future. I guess we got the hero yeah. for now. So when they when they showed the beginning of the trailer with the okay. villains again, yeah. uh, I was I saw it and I was like, wait, Smash? Another Smash thing? Another yeah. villain? I could tell it was different. And then when they went into the house, King K. Rool was there, so I was like, okay, this is different, but my mind couldn't wrap around it, and then I saw the puzzle piece, and then I pooped. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> actually, I actually, I sound like I didn't care. I really liked the trailer, and I was laughing because I was so, I just thought it was so funny that they did the same thing, but with K. Rool, and then it's like you knew what was coming next, but they had fun with it, and they made them, like, break through the wall this time, and then when they were cheering for Banjo, I just thought it was so funny. Like, I thought the trailer was really well done. Yeah. So, and I was happy about it. I think I just knew already that he was coming. It took me by surprise, and it felt like a dream to me because I've been wanting Banjo for so long, and I thought he was yeah. going to get in because of the Grinch leak. When he finally got in, or it just, like, I felt like I was on a cloud or something during the entire <laughs> thing. And then the part where he does a peace sign at the end and all the Nintendo characters... Uh... Are like cheering in the background. Do you remember that part? Yeah, yeah. That part, I feel like for a lot of people, um, I don't know. It warmed my heart. I wanted to tear up or something. Like it was, it was such a. Every time I watch it back, it's such a happy feeling because Banjo's finally back on his first console, or yeah, because it was Nintendo. I know it's been so long. And he he's finally back after 20 years, and just the fact that they got all his. His freaking moves and Spiral Mountain and the music and the guh -huh, and they didn't do the, uh... stupid fat nuts and bolts banjo. Oh my gosh, what if they did? <laughs> Everyone, Everyone would have been would be so, so mad. mad. <laughs> I was watching Austin John plays talk about why banjo is so iconic, and he's he was talking about nuts and bolts, and he's like, in this game, banjo was basically fat and couldn't walk <laughs> around, so they had to like move around with a car because he was so fat. I was like, that's so dumb. <laughs> 
Yeah, that is really stupid. <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing? We're, we're, just, we're just dancing. <laughs> we're not even playing the game. I actually teared up when the Breath of the Wild trailer showed. Just because I love The Legend of Zelda and I just think... Um, it's just so epic and I like how cinematic it is. And it was just... At first I thought it was DLC. And then I had a feeling it wasn't. Yeah, I, I thought it was DLC at first like, too. I was their target audience. I was very <laughs> yeah, I was... At first I saw it... Gosh, what did he say? He said... Right at the end, we have one more thing to show, and then it showed those blue lightning worm things. Or it was the light. Yeah. And I was like, Metroid. They're finally showing off Metroid. And then no, I, I heard I the music, was... and I saw the art style, and I was like, This is Zelda. What are they bringing to Zelda? More DLC, and like you thought. And then uh, I thought it was DLC the whole time until they said we're working on a prequel <laughs> or a sequel. If it, w if it was DLC, I wouldn't have cared as much because I don't have the game. Yeah. I played Doors, but. Um, I just think, oh, I'm probably not going to get it just for DLC, because it won't matter to the main story. Yeah. What if he was like, we have one more thing, <gasps> it, was <a> new, <laughs> it was another trailer, like, the Donkey Kong and Benji can do you want. Oh my god. <laughs> and it was, and it was like... Steve? <laughs> <laughs> I'm assuming Sakurai, or Nintendo, is saving a really big character for the end. I'm assuming, because Smash Brothers always does that. I hope so. I hope so, it's not like. Well, now that Banjo's in, I'm like, who the heck are they saving for last? Because Vergabin, who leaked uh, the hero and leaked Banjo and leaked other things, he said there's still something Minecraft supposed to be represented uh, in Smash Brothers. So I'm like, what if it truly is that Steve is coming? I guess I'm gonna be glad again. I feel like it probably will be, just because people are talking about it, and they have been talking about it. I would love if the last one is another Piranha Plant surprise, but I feel like we'll probably know two months before it comes out who it is, or have an idea of who it'll be. I'm still holding out for, like, Sakurai to surprise us with free echoes. That can't be too hard to do. Oh, yeah. yeah I don't know. I don't know about